Hello, today I'm going to show you how to mix spirit based dyes to match an exact colour. I have a piece of brown mahogany veneer here. And I want to try to get to this colour from this eucalyptus. So I'm going to make a dye that will make that eucalyptus into the brown mahogany to match exactly. We have three different mahoganies here brown mahogany, antique mahogany, and red mahogany. I know really that we're going to be using the red today but we'll I'll uh, put a little bit of each one on to show you what the different colors look like. Oh using a tiny little square of cotton just wipe on a touch of color. There is the red mahogany. A little bit more on than that. That's the red mahogany which is not too far from the color we want. Uh, the brown mahogany is a much deeper, stronger brown. It's going to be too much for this project, I think. You see how intensely brown that dye is. And then the antique mahogany, which has more of a purple tinge. Most of the dyes have a particular colour attached to the to the um, brown of them. So the red mahogany is more red, the brown mahogany is deep brown, the antique mahogany is a purplish colour. You see we're not far off this, but it's a bit light. We need it to be browner than that. Um, the red mahogany is, is too red and too light. So I'm going to give it a good shake and make a big patch of it and we'll see how we can mix that colour to something else. Put a decent sized dollop on there. Quite a big dollop. And we get a patch of the colour. Now we can then add whatever tone we think we need. We need it darker, so um, there's a couple of options. A dark oak might be possible. This is a dark oak. I'm going to show you what happens if you mix the colours too early. The existing stain is already wet and it kind of removes one and puts the other in. It doesn't really mix the two together. So we don't want to do it when it's wet. That colour is also much too black in our coke. So instead we'll try waiting. That was about two or three minutes we were waiting and using an English walnut. And we'll put the English walnut and spread it onto the red mahogany. You see we get a mixed colour above. That is not far off. It's not exactly right, but it's not far off. So what we're going to do is use those two colours. Now we're going to use a syringe to measure out accurately what proportion of the red mahogany and the English walnut we need. Give them a good shake first, make sure they're the right colour. We'll use a syringe to measure out reasonably accurately to work out what proportions we want. So, first of all, I'll just mix a one-to-one -one ratio of one mil of, of uh, red mahogany and one mil of the English walnut. That's really what we had by mixing the two on the timber before. And then I'll make a little patch with a two-to-one mix. So uh, we'll then get the syringe again and approximately put two measures of red mahogany and one of the English walnut. This one's probably going to be too red, but it's nice to have the mix there so that we can check how far in each direction we're going to go. And then finally I'm going to do a sample with one of red mahogany to two of English walnut. And then we'll see what that looks like, whether that's got enough brown in it and how strong it gets. There we go. One red mahogany, two English walnuts. A new little square of cotton each time so that we're not mixing the colours together inadvertently. That's pretty good. It's a bit too brown, if anything. Um, 
compare it again against the, uh, on the on the video it looks quite close at, in real life it's slightly too dark slightly too brown so I want to try uh, writing on the board here I'm going to try three English walnuts to two of red mahogany yeah so a 60 40 mix let's see how that works out I'm using one and a half mil so it's not too much one and a half mil of English walnut and one mil of uh, red mahogany. That's quite a lot. Uh, spread that over, see what we've got. And that looks quite good, hasn't dried yet, but it's looking pretty good, just very slightly lighter and redder. So I'm going to cover it with a teak oil to see what it will look like once it's got a start of a gloss finish on. Even if we're going to put one coat on, it'll show what the colour when dry looks like. Wait for the stain to dry, it's uh, two to three minutes, and the stain dries off. So another piece of gloss, just wipe on a quick coat of tea coal onto both of these pieces, and we'll see what finish we're going to end up with. Now the reason we're trying to make it accurate is because I don't want to just do one piece and get the colour right. If we were just trying to match one piece of wood, we could do it on the wood, on the timber. Um, but what I want is a formula so that I know I can recreate this colour any time by using several different things. So I'm going to test this formula out now. I think my formula is three English walnut to two red mahogany. So I'll use the syringe again. 3 mil of English walnut. And 2 mil of red mahogany. And that way I know that any time in the future I can mix this and if I apply it to this particular eucalyptus I'll get a colour that matches very close to the pieces that I'm trying to match to. So while you can mix the dyes on the wood, if you want to do it repeatedly, again and again, you want to try to work out a formula if you can, just by doing little patches like that. So here's my new formula, testing again that I can apply as much as possible that will still be the same colour. I can apply too much and just wipe it. It should still end up the right colour. Whatever I do, just leave that. Two or three minutes to dry. And then I can put a little coat of oil on, which will give me the true colour coming through. You see when it's dry, it doesn't really look like how uh, the colour will finish. It's not quite so easy to see on video, but in real life this is a very, very close match. And unfortunately as well that the grain in this timber matches reasonably well, so that the dark and light sections match up nicely with the circle that I have, that little circle of the existing timber. That's a bit on the other side, it did match that one, and now this one, it matches very well indeed. Really close. I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.